welcome to Hands Up. Y'all ready for this? Ice hockey, eh? Debatably the most brutal and vicious sport in the athletic realm. Rodney Dangerfield once said, I went to a fight the other night and a hockey game broke out. Ice hockey is the only sport in America where fighting is encouraged by the nature of the game. Fighting is a core part of hockey that has been overlooked as being an issue. With the winter sports season now in full swing, NHS hockey players are excited to finally be suiting up and getting onto the ice. We talked to senior hockey star Tommy O'Connor to hear what he has to say about hockey fights. Do I think fighting is a key role in the game of hockey? Um, I mean, yeah, because like, I'm going to be honest, that's like, like if I go to an NHL game, I'm here because I want to see two people go at it. Like I want to see somebody fight and like p potential knockout, like maybe, like that's asking for a lot, but like, you know, I'm hoping. Next, we talk with Wesleyan hockey player and NHS alum, Bridget Gullerslaw, to ask her about her experiences with female ice hockey. Fighting isn't legal in girls' hockey, but it also isn't legal in boys' hockey. In both the youth and collegiate level, you can get an automatic game misconduct for fighting, and sometimes a suspension as well. However, there are varying degrees of fighting, and there are still a lot of smaller fights in hockey for both genders at both the youth and collegiate level. I have witnessed fights of some degree in my hockey games. In hockey, there is an important concept of defending and standing up for your teammates, particularly your goalie. So quite frequently, smaller fights slash scrums can break out in front of the net and often result in more people getting involved to help their teammate. 